I can have time to think, huh? Yeah. When you stand it up. Yeah. Um, what's the question here? What's the, you, you know, coming to another country, there was um, so many variables I didn't anticipate. Um, one, just um, being overwhelmed by a completely new environment where uh, nothing's very familiar with to you, so um, uh, everything's a bit more of a challenge. I'm just exploring for myself kind of the role of the image and, and, and how a visual image can impact a person and how through modern technology um, the, the, the image is changing um, and I think that with, uh, what I'm exploring with the painting is um, the idea still of, of, of pausing an image and, and making it static we rely heavily on, on, on the moving image. Um, I still believe in an in um, image that is still. You know, and I just, I borrow them from any source, you know, it's like, um, it's words are everywhere. Um, yeah. In a way, they're kind of uh, pretty self-explanatory, um, politically inspired and youth inspired and yeah, I mean, I think, I think if you look at the image, then, then they fit with the image. In, in terms of artistic endeavours, I mean, what right do any of us have? Um, I don't know, I mean, there's, there's always critics and there's always doubters, and, and you need them to survive. But um, I think if you believe in yourself and have your own integrity, um, then, you know? Like, I think... The idea with that painting is like the role, the role of each individual. We all form our own opinions. We all have our own opinions. The, the black figure is actually just a bit of a self-portrait, really. Um, and and kind of the young, put it, um, glass wearing youth is um, from a media image of uh, uh, the G8 summit. Uh, protests. Unlike how? Yeah, I mean, they, um, I guess they, there's a Pink Floyd song. Um, I actually don't know, it's just, it's a title I had running around in my head for um, a period of time and um, I'd always kind of wanted to call the show it and uh, I just felt like this, this was the um, the right kind of show in which to do it. basically just drew it in such a manner that, um, you know, the identity and the nationality um, of, of this person um, is unknown and, um, and I just find that, that quite interesting that um, trying to kind of represent in a, a portrait style way um, kind of the, 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 the faceless man. I think it's like that even with anything, you know, as humans, we, we, we're, we're constantly in motion. We're always still struggling with the same ideas and the same concepts and, and um, the same in, uh, inhumanity against each other. And it, it's just a dog chasing its tail, you know. It's the idea of uh, peeling back layers and, and uh, under in, any layer is this kind of skeletal structure that supports everything. My own fragility, my own, um, my own kind of weaknesses, and, and it, it also represents kind of um, the shadows of history and the rhetoric ghosts of old, um, whether it's, it's um, signifying to um, a lineage of, of painting, I think it. I think it's just something that you know. It, it's a way I enjoy communicating. It's like 
you know, if I'm presenting an image, um, then yeah, I want it to, to kind of smack you in the face or kick you in the ball. That state of that. If so, someone is viewing an image uh, in a gallery or uh, at an exhibition, you know, the average time they spend looking at it is like two or three seconds. And um, I think if, if you can produce something um, that in, in those two or three seconds that, that makes that image stick in that person's mind, um, then you're doing, you're doing what you're supposed to do. And it, it, it was like a, uh, it was an act of protest and, and, and an act of angst. And um, almost it was quite a primitive form of, of, of demonstration. So I've painted it in a manner of, of that it is quite primitive, of, of simplified everything down. Um, in terms of figure and, and, and um, then, then the text how yeah um, it, it kind of alluded to that that, that um, the idea that they're getting this huge amount of satisfaction and pleasure out of kind of um, um, having this threatening destructive kind of act of violence to, to get your message across. Um, there are images that have, have taken me and, and, and captured my attention in, in terms of that they demonstrate um, that, com that whole kind of unrest that, that is um, displayed across our TV screens every night. And uh, I think throughout history, like, uh, drawings is, has always been there. Um, I think in, in, in the art world, um, fashions come and go, whether it's painting or installation or minimal art or, or, or what have you, but for some reason drawing, drawing has always been there and it's kind of always been a constant.